Is Justin Fields the best quarterback in the NFC North? I'm not going to say that. I'm going to have to say it's Jared Goff. I still have question marks. I, I think the ceiling is, the, is high, right? And, and, and I think there is that confidence, the belief, everything that you laid out. Um, I almost think, though, if it doesn't work this year, that this is it for him. I think the idea of him popping and becoming a superstar, you know, and, and having like a, you know, a Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes breakout kind of year is probably far-fetched. But we're certainly not going to be thinking about him as some damn MVP caliber player. Stop that. Why not? Stop it. Because they're going to be in last right. place. That, they're going to be losing. This guy has been diminished inexplicably to me so many times. There were teams in the National Football League who took Zach Wilson and Trey Lance ahead of him in the same draft. People are finally starting to see what those of us who actually watched him in college, not those who seem to have evaluated him, but those who actually watched him in college already knew. That guy's got 4-4 speed. Yeah. He's got a, a cannon for an arm. They're finally letting him do the things he does well, and he looks right now like he might be on the verge of becoming the next genuine NFL star. But well, we're actually seeing a guy that has had the highest ceiling, we talked about it, of anybody in that draft class. All the quarterbacks, Trevor, you know, Lawrence, all those guys included. This guy's ceiling is unbelievable. And guess what? He's starting to reach it. To say that Justin Fields is on an upward trajectory might actually be selling short what we are seeing right now. I felt that he had moments of MVP football last year in what was the worst situation for quarterback to be in in the NFL last year. They want to try to get Justin Fields the weapons that he needs in order to take that next step and move further along the line. But if you don't think that Justin Fields can't beat Jalen Hurts, you ain't been watching football. If you don't think he can turn into that, yeah. you're kidding yourself. But Justin Fields is a guy that you can not only build around, but a guy that can win games for you and be elite at the position based on all of his necessary tools. I call this guy the future, Justin the future Fields. I like it. Because <laughs> this dude is gonna be a freak. You sit there and say, that player, if he was on a team that was going to win more, would be in the MVP conversation. There's not a question right now who's the best quarterback in that 2021 draft. Mm -hmm. It is Justin Fields. Mm -hmm. Outside of Jalen Hurts, there's not another quarterback in the NFC that I would take over, over Justin Fields for the next five years. Given what they've added this year okay. and what they potentially could add next year, you're going to see a player that plays at MVP level this season. I feel like in two to three years, we will be talking about Justin Fields as vying for one of the faces of the NFL.